Hi guys, this is John Callum from KHL Motorsport. We have made much progress on our Project Elantra V6 since the last video. But this time, we'd like to share a modification that can help make more power on our V6 engine. Uh, as you may guys know that this engine is a Hyundai Delta 2.7 liter uh, with engine code G6BA. It came from the GK Tiburon which came out from 2003 to 2008. Every engine needs to inhale and exhale easily to make the most power. Unfortunately, the Delta's stock intake manifold is very restrictive, especially on high RPM. Dyno tests on the GK Tiburon show that the torque curve tends to taper down at around 5,000 RPM. A known but uncommon upgrade in the GK Tiburon community is to replace the stock intake manifold with the one coming from the Hyundai Mew engine. A user in the new Tiburon.com forums called DM Dix posted a guide on how to do the swap. A link to the original thread is in the description. The Mew intake manifold has variable intake runners. What this means is that on low RPMs, the runners are longer for better torque at those engine speeds. For high RPM operation, flaps inside the manifold shorten the effective intake track for better torque on high RPM. It just so happens that we are parting out the 2007 Hyundai Santa Fe in the shop right now. This Santa Fe is kind of rare in the Philippines because it has the 2.7 liter V6 new engine. Usually what Santa Fe's we get in the Philippines are diesels. Regardless, this was our source for the new intake manifold. Swapping the new manifold is not a bolt-on affair. The lower manifold bolts into the cylinder heads, no problem. But we had to convert the new fuel rails uh, and convert them into a return style setup. We had to make a new crossover pipe at the timing belt side of the fuel rails. We used some steel hard lines and some banjo bolts as you can see in this picture. But you can figure out some other way to do it, it's really up to you. Note that um, with these fuel rails you have to reuse the delta injectors especially if you're still running the stock ECU. The breather pipe on the rear bank's valve cover also interferes with the mu manifold. You have to grind off that part of the manifold. It's not a lot, maybe one fourth to one half inch worth of material. If you're using the stock ECU, you'll have to reuse the stock throttle body. A custom adapter plate is needed to mount the throttle body to the new manifold. The stock throttle body is a little bit too small for the engine capacity. Uh, a bigger one will help. Uh, unfortunately, there are not many aftermarket options around. So we might have to modify the existing throttle body and install a new throttle plate uh, so that the engine can breathe in a little bit more air. But that's another mod for another day. The intake air temperature sensor has to be mounted to the Mew intake manifold. We removed the Mew map sensor uh, on its location and stuck in an air temp sensor from our 1998 Alantra. It does not bolt on, it requires a custom bracket to mount it properly, but at least we did not have to drill any new holes on the intake manifold. The only thing left to do with the manifold is to wire in a switch that would activate the variable intake runners. We need some sort of RPM activated switch to activate them. If you have any questions regarding this swap, please let us know in the comments. This is merely a guide and it's not meant to be very exhaustive. So it would really help if you ask some questions and we'll try our best to answer them. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like our Facebook page. It's Kohol Garage. Please like our Instagram. It's KHL Motorsport. Hopefully in the next video, the car is on the road for its shakedown run. We'll make a new video on that, God willing. Hope to see you on the next video.